hi ladies and welcome back to my channel today we're talking about how to spot a liar how to figure out if that man is lying to you and look this video is either going to teach you how to spot liars a lot faster or it's going to teach you how to be a better liar hopefully it's the first one now in reality we're all liars you're a liar i'm a liar everyone lies and lies obviously vary from you know little white lies when we want to quit a job and we don't want to hurt the boss's feelings to a lot more serious lies to where like you're cheating or and you're hiding things for example did you know that strangers typically lie three times within the first 10 minutes of meeting each other that extroverts lie more than introverts that men lie a lot more about themselves than other people and women lie a lot more to protect other people married couple lie in one out of every 10 interactions that they have the unmarried ones, that drops, the number drops to three. Three out of 10 interactions. At least 82% of lies go undetected. Yet liars are believed more than those who tell the truth. It's extremely important for me to add that if you feel like somebody is lying to you, to never confront them until you have full evidence. Telling a person what you know or that you feel like they're lying to you will only cause them to be more sneaky. This is practiced so many times by cops, professional investigators for a reason. Some people are incredibly good liars. Acting stupid and clueless will expose them a lot faster. When a person lies, everyone has a different thing that they do that shows that they're lying. For you to figure out what that thing is, you have to do the exact same thing that professional investigators do, that cops do, and it's basically to start off with the easy questions. Questions that people typically don't lie about. For example, what their name is, where were they born, um, what high school they went to, birthday, I don't know. And you'll start seeing, okay, they're answering calmly and you see how they act when they tell the truth. And then eventually you start going into the more difficult questions. And you'll be able to tell the difference from them telling the truth to them not really wanting to answer the question. Maybe, I don't know, their tone starts changing, they maybe start stuttering, or you're starting to see that their, you know, leg moves up and down really fast. You'll start seeing a lot of changes in their behavior. So the first sign is, let's say you're on a date right now, and a person is telling you a story about their past. If they're using past tense, they're honest about their story because they're recalling something that happened in the past. But if all of a sudden the story changes from past tense to present tense, it means they're adding in lies to their story. Next suggestion is to have whoever you're dating be introduced to a friend or to a family member, but a smart one, okay? None of those pick me people, a person that knows how to detect red flags. Smart investigators, they have two investigators in the room. One that writes down the criminal's answers and one that observes the criminal's actions. You cannot fully focus on what they're saying or doing when you are writing. This is extremely important and this is how a lot of women get gaslighted, manipulated by men. Because when you get into an argument with a man and he says something you don't like, next time you, next time you basically meet up with him, you'll notice he's going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about, I never said that, no, you misunderstood me, I didn't say it that way, I said it this way, but you know what you heard. And now, all of a sudden, you're basically being manipulated, gaslighted into thinking that maybe you're crazy. You're gonna start thinking, damn, maybe I really need to start recording this guy, since I'm not able to remember what he's saying. This is extremely important. If you take a look at the picture that I have attached here, can you detect which one is the real smile and which one is the fake smile? When somebody lies to you, their upper body freezes. The left smile is the real smile. The right smile is the fake one. If you take a look at the left smile, you can see that her eyes are almost closed. She's like almost squinting. And her mouth, like, it's a lot wider. Meanwhile, if you take a look at the right picture, her eyes are still. And her... Smile is basically, you can tell, it's just being forced. The one thing that I like about liars is that they know that, you know, when you think about somebody lying to you, you think, okay, they're going to be under stress, they're going to be sweating, you know, they'll start making these weird movements with their legs and arms, they'll have increased heart rate, they won't even make eye contact. Usually these things are true. 
But some liars, because they already know these tricks, they try so hard to avoid them. They'll start overly thinking about how to avoid them that they just make it too obvious. For example, when they say if somebody's lying to you, they won't make eye contact. Meanwhile, a liar is gonna try so hard to avoid that. that like, they will look you so intensely in your eyes that it's just too much. You notice that it's too much. You notice that it's too intense. Or when they know that if they have these weird movements with their legs and arms, some of them overly think this and they try so hard that they're not moving at all. Their body is not moving at all. They sit in this like frozen awkward position and like these are ones are my favorite because they're so easy to catch. I've seen these so many times when you look at like you know documentaries with like investigators and stuff you start noticing these weird things that people do that it's just they try so hard not to get caught lying but they make it too obvious. Another example of a liar would be if someone says yes but they shake their head in the way that we do when we want to say no, they're basically telling a lie. For example, let's say you're the boss and somebody's coming to you. They're saying, look, I'm not really able to continue working here. I'm moving and I'm going to be moving far. Yada, yada. So you give them the suggestion of saying, hey, you know what? That's okay. You can work from home. And then they reply to you saying, I am happy to continue working from home. But you start seeing that their head isn't moving from, um, it's not moving up and down. It's moving left and right. They basically, they don't want to, <laughs> but they're agreeing to it for whatever reason. Usually when we tell the truth, when someone asks us questions, we provide a little more detail. So if somebody is not saying enough, okay, they answer questions with very short answers, they refuse to provide details, typically this means that they're lying to you. If, for example, I don't know, you found out, like, somebody told you they saw your husband with some other woman um, at a restaurant, whatever, um, and then you talk to him and you start asking him questions, they're like, okay, where were you on Friday night? And he just says, home. Okay, what'd you do at home? Nothing. Like, it's just very <laughs> straight to the point, no detail, nothing. Usually this means that they're lying to you. Because usually, if, let's say, he was telling the truth, if you were to ask him the question, he might tell you, yeah, I was at home. And then you ask him, okay, what did you do? Usually, if they, he really was doing nothing, usually they say, I wasn't really in the mood to do anything. I just decided not to do anything, you know, kind of needed time for myself. I was doing nothing. I slept all day. I don't know. But they usually provide a little more detail instead of just saying nothing. <laughs> Even if they really were doing nothing. I've, And a lot of people argue this and they're like, what's wrong? Like, why can't I just be straightforward? Like... What's wrong with that? But like truly, if you actually talk to people who tell the truth, you'll notice every single person usually provides a little more detail and they don't just give you like one word answers unless you two got into a fight or maybe you're constantly on them and constantly asking them questions. They might just be sick of you. That would be the only reason why a person would give you like one word answers. But another thing to watch out for is if they're saying too much. Liars will also add excessive detail to convince themselves and others of what they're saying. When someone tells you a story of what happened, there's two ways to detect that lie. If the story is inconsistent or if the story is the exact same. When you're asking a person to give you a story more than once, if they're lying, you'll start noticing that the story is starting up to change. Their, the added details don't make sense. They don't add up in the story. Or you're going to notice that the story is the exact same. Let me give you an example. Your friend told you that she saw you, your husband cheating on you. But when you talk to your husband, your husband said, what are you talking about? I was with my friend, Michael. You can go and talk to Michael. I was with him. So now here you are talking to your husband and to Michael. But you notice that when you're asking them questions, the story is just the exact same. Word for word, it's the exact same. You can tell that before this, it was all pre-planned. The story that they were going to give you was pre-planned. Because if they were telling the truth, their stories would kind of differ, but it would add up and it would make sense that they were together that night. It wouldn't be word for word the exact same. Truthful people tend to add more details and remember more facts when they repeat the story. But liars, on the other hand, they memorize the story they made up and they try to keep it the same. Another way to detect a liar is if you notice they're the type of person that never takes accountability they always shift the blame to anything but themselves, you know, the type of people that play victim. When you're dealing with people in general, listen more than you speak. You'll notice liars, they'll use this, they'll start using complex sentences to hide the truth. 
If a liar is under stress, you'll start noticing they speak faster or they'll start talking louder. If you start noticing like cracking in their voice, you know, um, or in their tone of voice, this usually means they're at a point of deception. If you notice that they start coughing um, a lot or clearing their throat, this usually means it's a sign of tension. If you notice that you're talking to someone and they roll their lips back to the point where they have no lips, this usually means they're trying to hold back emotions or facts. If you see them touching their body, hair, mouth, ear, they start playing with their clothes. They do this to keep themselves calm. If you notice this weird movement with like shuffling their feet or something like that, this means that they're uncomfortable or nervous. If you notice they stare at you without blinking and they use this like cold gaze, this is usually to intimidate you um, and control. Or it could be because they know that liars usually don't make eye contact, so they're trying too hard to make it look like they're not lying. When we lie, we usually become stressed. And when you're stressed, the automatic system decreases salivary flow which dries out the mucous membranes of the mouth, and this is why it becomes difficult for us to speak. You'll notice that when somebody lies, it also becomes difficult for them to speak, and this is exactly why. Now, the sad and unfortunate thing is that people that are good liars can detect people lying because they recognize the tricks. So even though you heard this video, or maybe you read some books about it, just because you know the tricks doesn't mean that you'll be able to detect it. Usually people who can detect these things are always the ones that lie the most there's not much you can do so anyways ladies i hope this was helpful if there's anything you guys want me to talk about add on fix definitely let me know and yeah love you all